Welcome to the second lecture in our review unit on Algebra 1. Today's topic is combinatorics. I'm your instructor, Josh Schott, with Mass-Based Tutoring. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to introduce combinatorics using tree diagrams. We're, we're going to learn that we can use tree diagrams to determine the number of possible outcomes of specific events. And we can also use tree diagrams to determine the total number of options given relative choices in a situation. All right, so let's say uh, we're flipping a coin and we want to find out how many different outcomes there are from flipping a coin three times. And to do this, we're going to use a tree diagram. So we start with our coin, our original event, our coin toss. And when we flip the coin, we're going to have the option of heads or tails. So our first tree, one option goes to heads, and then the second option goes to tails. So when we flip our second coin, both of those have the option of going to heads or tails. And then again, when we flip the third time, those each have the option of heads or tails. So each of these options have another option of heads or tails. So this is our third coin toss. So we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different outcomes of flipping a coin three times. And this also means, you can see the different events here, if we flip the, he flip the coin heads, 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 the probability of landing on heads three times in a row is one out of eight. Okay, let's switch gears and go to lunch. At your local cafeteria, there are two choices of salad, fruit salad and garden salad. There's three types of soup, chicken noodle, cream of mushroom, and minestrone. And then there's two types of dessert, a cookie or a sundae. How many different combinations of lunch does the cafeteria offer? Okay, again, we start with lunch. And our first choice is fruit salad or garden salad. So from lunch, we have the option of fruit salad and garden salad. And then from each of these, we're going to have the three types of soup. So the fruit salad gets all three options. So if you order the fruit salad, you have the three options of chicken noodle, cream of mushroom, or minestrone. And if you order the garden salad, you also have the three options of chicken noodle, cream of mushroom, or minestrone. And then lastly, you have the choice of dessert. So each of these are going to have two choices for dessert. So the chicken noodle soup and the fruit salad combination has an option of cookie or sundae and so on all the way down for a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve different options of meals at the cafeteria for lunch okay finally let's go into the closet and we're going through our wardrobe and we wish to find out how many different combinations of outfits you have clean you have three shirts, red, blue, and white. You have three types of pants, slacks, shorts, or jeans. And you have two types of shoes, tennis shoes and loafers. How many different outfits combinations can we make out of what we have? Well, let's start with our outfit. We have the three shirts, red, blue, and white. And now each of these is going to have the three types of pants. So here's the three types of pants, shorts, jeans, or slacks. And the blue shirt has shorts, jeans, or slacks. And the white shirt has short jeans or slacks. Now each of these are going to have the two types of shoes, tennis shoes or loafers. And here it is. It's a little bunched in here. But each of these options are listed here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 combinations of outfits to wear. So what we've done today is we've used tree diagrams to do some basic combinatorics and find out how many different options we have given certain situations. What's next? The next review, Lecture 3, we're going to discuss the Cartesian plane. I look forward to seeing you there. And again, if you need some math tutoring and you want some affordable math tutoring and it's all online, you don't have to leave your home, look me up on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash math-based tutoring, and we can work something out. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next video.